hello guys welcome to this tutorial so today i'm going to be talking about open router um a lot of people know open router but they don't really know what it's all about so open router is a uh, website or a SaaS application that enables you that gives you access to any ai model you can think of with just one api key so imagine that you're building uh, some application that uses a lot of uh, AIs, uh, different like AI models, you know, uh, it becomes a pain in the neck to use uh, multiple, you know, to manage your subscriptions over multiple uh, providers. For example, you have OpenAI, you have uh, Cloud, you have Mistral, uh, you need these models. So you need to go individually register an account on each platform and then fund each individually uh, fund each add credits to this, uh, each individual model to be able to use them so what uh, open router does is it simplifies that it gives you just one api key and which you can fund you can add credit and then gives you access to all the models you can ever think of I mean all the models so basically that is what uh, open router is all about that's the beauty of open router and uh, once you are on open router.ai just sign up and once you sign up you can see uh, it will show you you know this interface you have this interface and then you have the browse this is where you see all the uh, models that they have so you can see everything here complexity you can search by models filter by models uh, sort by newest uh, you know top weekly let's see the top weekly model so you have the google gemini flash 2.0 and then the atrophic cloud 3.5 sonnet so and then you can also filter by uh, price low to high so uh, dolphin seems to be the lowest of so dolphin 3. Oh, R1 Mistral, you know, going down to the most expensive. Uh, let's see which model is most expensive. Open AI, are you serious? 3.5? No, I don't think that is possible. I think that should be the least uh, expensive. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's that should be the least should be the list so low to high so we have the highest on top oh i see let's go to high to low yeah and see so open the eye yeah so you can filter you know yeah let's go back to new west and you can sort here by context length you know if you need the ai that need uses a lot of context you can you know filter by it Maybe you want one of 65k on 28k length, you know, or 1 million, uh, so you can filter by this. And you can also filter, you know, by the uh, prompt price. How much is it? Is it free? If you want the free models, you just slide this to the free, and it will show you only the free. You can see here uh, models. So, what a uh, phone router does is your API key, you can use it to access the free without. Uh, adding credit to your account but if once you want to access any of the uh, models that is not free you will need to add uh, credit to your account so you can you see here you can search by the category and we have a lot of category programming marketing uh, marketing SEO I think most of these are uh, general purpose uh, models uh, for example OpenAI is a general model general purpose so you see open ai here i'm going to uh it's saying no because of the filtering so we need to remove some of the filtering that we applied uh initially so i'm going to increase the length of this good you can see these are all general purpose uh models because we are in marketing you know if you go to seo you still see them also because they are general purpose uh, models. Also marketing, you go to programming. Now programming is a bit different, but 
but most times the general purpose models also uh, are used for programming you can see them here the anthropic you can see uh, metal mineral and all that so you can sort by the category of whatever it is you're building or what you want to do you also can sort by parameter here uh, the temperature for those of you that know what temperature is those of you that uses agent you know what temperature is which is the uh, percentage of the randomness of this response uh, so you can sort by all these parameters also and then the providers so here in the providers you can sort and see more see from uh, those from alibaba you know um one thing you must notice that for you to filter here you need to always clear your filter which i, I think is uh is this is hectic so always have to go back to clear the filter so you have to clear the filter for it to work so you can see now it's working as you turn in queen, uh, queen which is alibaba's model you can see let's see cloud fair flares model which is mental and the deep seek r1 uh, you can see them here uh, deep seek featherless uh, fire blah blah, blah uh, whatever called google text and all that so you can filter by what you need come here and search so i think this is similar to organ face for those of you that know what organ face is uh, it's just that organ face provides uh, more services than just access to models you know they also provide hosting uh, service and all that so you can go through their documentation here also go through the documentation and go through their ranking their ranking this is their documentation showing you how you can use it with python with typescript and all that how you can use their keys their api keys in your programs and all that so uh well, i'm gonna go back we're not going to this today so uh so you can check that in your spare time if you need uh it can see rankings of the models here you know if you want to sort let's sort by uh, is there programming here programming you can see how they perform here so here we have the uh, on third of February the highest performer here seems to be Google flash is it Google flash I think it's deep seek is deep seek which is 436 million uh, tokens were consumed uh, top this week you can see the um, ratings and the models that are being consumed the most uh, i think people are living uh, anthropic because it is expensive no 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 anthropic is one of the highest used you can see it today and traffic is 8 billion Google Gemini flash 14 billion 14.1 billion and anthropic cloud sonnet 58 billion wow wow before you now have others and then deep seek so a lot of people are not even really using deep seek I think deep seek you know a lot of people that are using deep seek are really not um it's not they are not really programmers like that from a lot of videos i've seen online most i realize that a lot of people who are not programmers use deep seek uh they use deep seek because uh they feel it is you know but for programming tasks i think uh people are still using the cloud there more and traffic seems to be the the leading one you know and it's, uh, its performance is quite better than others when it comes to programming so you can sort here let's sort by marketing let's see which is better off i think open ai will be the whoa 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 july this week july 22 we have google gemini pro let's see what which is this meta and then open ai i think uh, people are using more random just random models most of the time for marketing when it comes to uh, marketing 
you know, they're not really focusing on one, but some people seem to be really consuming Goku Gemini Pro for marketing purposes. Uh, so you can see, you can take a look at it, you know, just take a look at it and see what you can do. So go through the talks and then your API key to get your API key, you just go to keys here and you generate one, create a key. So once you create a key, you copy it. Um, I'm using it here with uh, Klein. This is Klein, which is a um, uh, AI agent in VS Code. So I just give it a prompt to create it to do app and it did this. Okay, not here. I think I've closed it. I've closed the to do app. Let me see if I can open it. Yeah, this test here. So this is what he did now. Uh, it's easy to, to do up, which is functional. It's working well, you know. Uh, let me see if I can get the prompt. I don't know if it's possible to go back in history to get the prompt. But basically, you can add it to your, uh, add the API key to client. You can add it to bold.diy. I think I showed that in the previous videos for those of you interested. So to add this to client, you will just come to our client and go to settings here, add your key, you know, and that's, that's just it. select open router, you paste here and add your key and that's just it. And you can start querying it here. So that is that about that. Um, so uh you can also use it with like i said like bolt.new or output.new instance open here so and you can see i'm using uh google gemini with open router here so basically you can also use it if you want if you don't know ab about uh bolt.diy you can check my previous video i'll link it below uh on how you can do that uh I, how you can get this set up so now you can use a lot of free models. You can even use DeepSeek. Here you can see DeepSeek. Look for the free ones. I think there's a free version, which is the R1 here. You can see it here. You can use DeepSeek well with it. So that is that about that. If you have gained something from this tutorial, kindly like and subscribe. I'll be posting another tutorial very soon. And I'm going to show you how you can use this uh, with an agent and then train it also train your AI agent uh, that is going to be responding to both so if you really want to be part of that and not to miss out ensure to subscribe for more tutorials so I'm gonna see you uh, next time stay safe and have a wonderful day